Hiya! Thank you for joining us virtually for one of Mimra's classes. Um, this class has been recorded from a Zoom class that we did, which is an app where we can be more interactive with participants. But then we had requests to put it available on YouTube for those who can join us um, for that class. So it's a little bit weird because it's recorded from an interactive class. Uh, so maybe some of it won't make sense or will you know, mention things on the camera that doesn't quite make sense for you in your living room. Um, but we hope it's useful for you to keep you moving, to have some fun. And if you want to join us for our interactive classes, they are on Tuesdays. And please sign up if you email info at mimbre.co.uk. Um, brilliant. Enjoy the class. Take care. Listen to your body. Have fun. It's great to see you all back uh, this week. I hope you're doing okay. Um, so we're going to get a bit creative as well as well uh, today. Uh, like last week, we did a dance, some acrobatics, and got a bit creative. We're really enjoying seeing you here, and we're really enjoying that you still want to work with us, even if we're like separated, but together. Together, but separated. But that's it. Uh, as always, be careful, take se um, be sensible about surrounding, make sure you have space, and not bashing into people. Uh, people? No people. Into things. <laughs> All right, go Natasha. Okay, great. So we're going to do a warm up, we'll do a quick stretch, and then we'll go over the routine we did last week um, and add some on. And I know you did all your shapes, I have all the shapes that you guys did. So maybe we'll add on a couple of eights of your moves. Um, yeah, just make sure you've got space, make sure you're giving it your all, and here we go. Okay, so you're on gallery so I can see you, I can see you all. Up. 
be that fast as well. I'm gonna be that fast. Stay low. Single, single, double it up. That's I'm twice a tricky one. You've got to bring in your new job in. So forward. Lighters up, lighters up, one time lighters up. Pulled up in the party when you saw me, I was lighting up my J. So go ahead and brighten up my day. Lighters in the air when you're lighting up the rave. And it's feeling like I met you here before. Girl, I felt your presence when they let you through the door. Never had a brother give you everything. Okay, on a diagonal. Yeah. Peace and then the rest of it is yours, me and more. You don't care when I don't take care of you, but can you please and I play? I don't know what you did to me, which is this guy. I love it when I'm playing with the kids. I can tell you love it just by looking in your face. It's the way that you wind up your waist. I'm so annoyed, girl. You never have to worry about nothing. You know it's yours. You know you're on Yeah. 
Take it nice and slow. Let's just go over the routine from last week then. Six, seven, we go and a step and a turn and a step. Bend your knees, hit a nice angular shape like they're two snake heads. Go the other way to your left. Step and turn and step, hit a shape. From here, push straight back and go smurf on the right arm. Smurf, uh, uh, smurf, uh, uh. Take it up side, take it up to the side. From the top to the right, six, it we go. You got a step and a turn and a step. Snake. Step and a turn and a step. Snake. And you smirk. Uh, and you smirk. Uh, and you take it up and you take it up and you double bounce. Give me these arms and you double bounce. Give me these arms. Okay? From the top, turns. Six. Here we go. You got a step and a turn and a step. Shake. Step and a turn and a step. Shake and we smirk up, and we smirk up. We take a side, we take a side, we go double bounce around your face. Double bounce around your face. Jump out one, 
Drop down two. Show me these arms three. Take them up four. Come up five, six, seven, eight. So you bring your arms down. So that new bit, you jump out, one, parallel feet. So my toes are facing forward. But then when I jump down low, my feet flip out like a penguin. Two, my hands are here. Then you put your arms like very Egyptian-y. Come forward a bit. Here, three. You don't have to walk forward, I just wanted to, so you can see me. Three, up four. Then you do heel, toe, heel, toe to come together, go. Heel, toe, heel, toe. And then we do these arms, which we might have done already. You do cross and shoulder, take it away and down. Cross and shoulder, take it away and down. Cross and shoulder, away, in. Drop your left arm, drop your right arm, and look at those shapes. I want you to practice. Look in your camera, hopefully you can see yourself. They're very particular shapes. So it's all very angular on that Egyptian tutting style like that, and then you explode up and down. Let's go slowly from the top. We're gonna to go to the right first. Bend your knees, six and a seven and an eight. You got a step and a turn, step and a snake, step and a turn, step and a snake. You got your smurfs, you push back from here. So your left leg, push. Smurf right, smurf left, to the side, to the side, you're gonna go squash a fly, frame your face. Squash a fly, frame your face. Jump one, flip your feet out, two, arms up, three, prayer position four, wiggle five and six and seven and eight. Arms across your right arm, cross and you're bouncing. Across and shoulder and flip it down. Cross and shoulder and flip it down. Cross and shoulder and flip, turn them in. Drop your left arm, right arm, explode down. The very last bit today is you do that on the other arm. So you take your left arm and you go cross and shoulder and away you drop. Cross and shoulder and away you drop. Cross and shoulder both away, flip them in. Other arm down to your right arm. Flip it down, change it over, and explode and down. So I might not have done that last week, but we are definitely doing it this week. Here we go. Is everybody ready? You're gonna slide around your room eight times. Stand by to slide. Go, slide, go. Slidey one, two. Arm, 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 arm,
Without the music, you ready? I want it fast and I want it sharp. Here we go. Five, six, here we go. Sharp, sharp, sharp and down. Sharp, sharp, sharp and down. Sharp, sharp, sharp and flip. Drop, drop, explode and down. Go a tiny bit slower. Arm, arm, out and a down. Arm, arm, out and a down. Arm, arm, out and a in. It's your left arm. Check that shape. Look at that shape, it's like the um, corners of a square. All right angles. Flip it over, check that shape. It's really hard work to get those angles and then exploding down. Other arm, go. Cross and a shoulder and flip it down. Cross and shoulder and a flip it down. Cross and shoulder and flip and change. This time your right arm, work to get those angles. Again, and up. Good, one more with music and then I'll hand you to Lena. Everyone stand by for the slides. Here we go. <laughs> Ready? Two more. Two to your right, go. Come on. and then by then Lena will be back. Not that she's gone anywhere. And uh, we'll do some acrobatics. I'm, I'm here. Hi everyone, grab the water. If you have a mat, put it out. And um, otherwise, if you haven't got a mat, um, you're probably okay doing this on the floor. It's just, I find it a little bit harsh on the spine. So if you haven't got, you know, it's just the rolls back we normally do. So if you haven't got a mat, what you do is just put the pillow and then roll onto the pillow, yeah? Pillow behind you, there. Okay, and we're going to do the rolls, but then we're going to add something to make it a bit harder. So first rolls, just these ones, curve out, and we just go one, hold it in the curve, two, hold it, three, hold it, straight legs, one, hold it, two. Hold, three, hold, yeah? And then try that in a straddle. One, coming up, two. And there. Okay, now to make it a bit harder, and this is actually Sylvia, Dylan's mom, came up with this, and it makes me really tight. So, so we have space. If you do it, I'll show it on the mat first, then I'll show it with a pillow. So I'm going to roll back, then you're going to reach forward, come up standing. As you come up, you're going to jump to the other side of the mat, and then you're going to roll down there, roll, reach forward, come up, jump and swap side. Now, if you do it with a pillow, then what you would do would put a pillow, just check so it's like, if you do the first roll on it, you see, roll on the pillow, come up, then you jump over the pillow, sit down, and make sure you roll on the pillow, and coming up. Yeah? We're going to do five of those. So either pillow or mat, you're ready to go, and down. 
for one. And hop. And careful with your mat, because the mat might slide around. But as long as you land on the mat again, it doesn't matter if it moves a little bit. Three. And I meant like 10 when I said five, because I meant <laughs> back and forwards. So two more each side. Four. Seven. Four. Use your arms to help you to do the jump and change. Last ones. Jump and change. Sure. Ha! Huh. Good ones. Nice. Great. And then let's do the snake. So diagonal. So hands on the floor, feet on the floor, walk your feet. Uh, walk your um, your wrists. Okay. And then push your chest through towards your legs to get a stretch. And now we're going to bend our arms. Remember, we're bending the arms down, not out. So try to go down, try to get your nose close to the floor. Don't put your body on the floor. You still just have hands and feet. Pull the belly button up. One, coming through. Looking up here in the cobra like a snake. Pull the belly button curve. Three. Pull. Four. And then to give you a little bit of a challenge, you're going to push up in this position. So you're going to bend. So you nearly put the elbows on the floor and then you push up. Do 10 of those. One, push, two, push, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Shake out your hands. Okay, and I'm going to give you one more, no, well, maybe you do push-ups today, but why not? Yeah, because what we can do is we can get strong. So, what would you do in this one? I learned this from a martial arts class, so let's try some kickboxing out. Um, so you go here, you go down as if you're doing a press-up, but you melt down on the floor. Melt down. And then you melt up, but you try to keep the plank. So you see, I sort of, I melt down, I bend one arm first, melt down here, and then I like, I go a little bit sideways. So I'm not just going down and up, I'm actually like turning a little bit into it, melting, melting up. Imagine your candle that goes down and up again. Okay, shake out the hands. Let's do, uh, let's do five of those. Keep changing which side goes down first. So we'll go down, melting down, pushing up, one. Two. So you actually go down on the floor, but then you have to leave it again. Three. Try to keep the plank shape. Try to push your hips up together with the chest. How many have we done? Let's do one more. Ha! Ah, there. Great. Now, on your knees, push your arms in front, just stretch out like a cat. Get a nice cat stretch along your arms. Pushing your hips back, sitting by the backs to your feet, arms, fingers stretching forward. Then walk your fingers forward, try putting your hips and your bums is above your knees. Put your hands in front and push your chest down. Either put your forehead on the floor, or if you can, put your chest on the floor. And try to take one, take one hand and put it by your, where your shoulder is and look at that hand, and you press the other armpit down into the floor to get a stretch. And change, and stretch the other side. So this armpit is pushing down, and I'm looking at the other hand. And then I slide, lying on the floor, I pass the elbows on the floor, I lift up my chest, and get a stretch there. Try to put more of your stomach to the floor, so you so I go from here, I'm trying to lower my tummy down, still keeping a long neck, getting a stretch in the middle of my back. And then with your hands by your shoulders, reaching forward and up. Go to here, push your hips back down. If you want to meet your feet to your head, you can. Those of you who are super flexible, but keep pushing active shoulders away. 
a trifle more and more of the hips on the floor. Nice one. And then um, Sophie, um, Alba, are you happy to show a bridge? Yeah, so putting her hands on the floor, pushing with the hips, and then pushing to straight arms. Great. And then if in balance, you can take one leg up. So as a challenge, one leg up, holding a position and coming down, coming down, bending the arms, rolling down on the floor. Great, thank you, Alba. Cool. Okay, so everyone do three bridges each. Uh, so yeah, just make sure that you put your hands by your ears, fingers pointing towards the shoulder. After you've done that, just roll your back. After you've done five bridges, just roll five times like this. Really hugging yourself into the tuck. Four, five, all right. Now, we're going to do some tricks that works on a sofa or on a bed. If you haven't got a sofa or a bed in, in the room, you can also do it on the chair. Um, so I'm just gonna move the camera so that you can see, so I can show you on there. Just have a play with the environment we have. So first one, if you have a mat or a rug, then bring, bring it and put it underneath. But otherwise it might just be to put like some, um, some cushions underneath just for your knees yeah so it could be like a rug or a cushion or if you have a carpet that's enough yeah it's just to save the knees a little bit and if you if you fall off the sofa so we're just going to play around a bit with the sofa because it's like a crash mat so why not so first one it's just a really nice easy roll so i'm going to go right next to the sofa so you're touching i'm touching the sofa with my um, arm and with my hips yeah i'm pushing into the sofa and then I push my toes under, I push up into the V. I paint the ceiling. It's like the Adele rolls, you know, that we do in class. And you just roll onto the sofa. Oh, nice. Ooh. And then to come up, I reach with my legs and my hands. I reach for the floor, bend and come down. Yeah? Clement, yes, you're doing it on the chair. Perfect, Clement. You can, so when you do go onto the chair, Clement, um, <laughs> You just have to be, you have a more of a challenge. So when you go on a chair, you just have more of a challenge to make sure that you like get your back onto the chair and then try and find a balance on the chair. But that's really nice. And then when you reach down, just make sure you get your toes down and then roll down on your, on your feet and then your knees. And so those of you who've been doing it for a while, try to play with the speed. So go here and see how quick can you get onto the sofa? Yeah? And then you just be careful when you get up. Yes, nice, nice, Melissa. So if you get up, it's like the melting before. You just have to roll down and melt down on the floor. So I would even melt all the way down, like on your elbows. And then see if you go from, from here and go whoop. And then um, and just melt your body to meet the floor. Nice. So you can really play with your legs as well. Is it like hair? Is it legs together and like tucked together? Or is it legs going wide and long? You have to be careful so you don't hit anything. And then coming lying down. Cool, try it uh, facing the other way as well. You might find it easier on one side than the other. Next thing. So if you go on mat, you can do this. It's just, we're just gonna do forward rolls. Um, so my sofa is quite small, but if you can, you can try to do it in your sofa. If not, just do it on the floor. If you do it on the floor, you do it with sitting on your feet on the floor, putting your hands in, tucking your body under, and rolling through, yeah? But if you do it on the sofa, it's exactly the same. But I'm sitting on the side of the sofa. If it doesn't have an armrest, you just sit right at the end of it. With my hands on the floor, I'm going to do really slowly, because I got some books, I got a flower over there, so I'm going to keep really small. Put my hands here, I put my head through, so I'm trying to look up, like around my own. Looking at my own belly button and coming through, and then I just land like down in the sofa. It's good with the sofa acrobatics because all positions lead to lying down. <laughs> yeah? Okay, have a go. So really tuck yourself really small. Be really careful about surrounding, yeah? So hands, I push with my hands. I make myself small. I look at my feet. I look at my belly button, and I roll down. And I stop here. 
in a little tuck. And then I can roll down to the side. This is great. Okay, next one. You probably, quite a lot of you probably done this already. So let's just see, have all of you got back to the sofa? No, Alice, you haven't, so you have to be quite careful. Alice, could you ask maybe your mom or dad to come and spot you? So Ilana and Clement, I want you to have a wall behind. And we're gonna go, so for everyone else, you face the sofa, so you're standing on the sofa, and you put your head down in the middle, so you're looking out, you're looking at me, bring your legs up, put your hands, and then push your feet up. So I'm leaning into the back of the sofa. Yeah? And then come down. I just have to be careful coming down because I might just slide out of the sofa. That's fine. You can put your knees back in so if I can come out. You can also use the corner if you want. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so Alice's mom, I just want to make sure that she doesn't go flying off at the back of the sofa. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Try to hold the balance a bit more. So once you've got that, try to go up, push your feet in, but then try to hold the legs and look at what shapes you can do. So it could be like that. Legs in a split. Could be like a sort of nearly sideways. And also think about how you come out. Can you come out back in sitting in the sofa? Okay, I'm going to just show you a variation, but this is where you have to get a bit creative. <laughs> That's great, Alice, you're just hanging there. Okay, so I'm going to show you a variation. If you have a armrest, then you can put your head in the middle and then you put your shoulder on the armrest. Yeah, so I'm actually like one shoulder is supporting me on the armrest. Um, you could also do this if you're next to a chair. So this is for uh, Clement and, and uh, Ilana. You can do this on the side as well. So you have, you put the head down and then try to get your shoulder on the sofa on the chair. Yeah, so you go like this. Um, I'm gonna show it with the chair closer to the camera. It depends on how high the chair is. You might do it better with a um, more of a handstand. Just trying to think which way to show it's probably like this. So I put my shoulder on the chair and then the hand. I'm trying to like a like a so sort of like a half, it's like a one hand handstand. So um do it with the wall, do it with the wall so you can push up. So if I do it like this, so use the wall or sofa to push up and make a shape. Voila. Yeah, so you have like, use of um, Clement and Ilana, find something to push against. For those of you with sofa, try to find a way in the sofa. So maybe it's like you're using the, you use the back of the sofa, put your shoulder on. And see if you can do like a different sort of half headstand, half handstand. Playing around a bit with the shape. Just be careful so you don't tip out of the sofa. But just see which part you can use. Yeah, nice, Amaya. Dylan, one more freeze, quick, one more. Amaya, that was a really lovely shape you did it in the end. You did like a nice sideways shape. Okay, we just got time for one more. And then we, then we run out of time. How did it go so quickly? Okay, just this one. Just make sure you got a bit of space in the front. Again, you can do this on the chair. Just make sure the chair doesn't slide. Eh? So it's like the, the ones we did um last week it's like bending the knees forward so if i do it on a do it sideways for you and bend these forward so i go back to here yeah so and then go back to here um take the other hand i swivel around until i can come all the way around and then come sitting yeah so i do the same on the sofa i stand in front of the sofa Push my knee forward and put the hand behind. I turn into the sofa, bring the foot around, bring the hand around, turn again and push up. Yeah, so you have push, turn, push up. Brilliant. And just for you to practice on your own, because we have to finish the class, if you've got this space, you can do this. You go here, 
As you turn, you do a little hop and then come up. Yeah? So you go forward, hop, and up. And you can play with where you come from as well. So from sitting, do like Natasha, push the knees, roll yourself up, coming back, turn into a sofa, put the hand down, push. It's like a little, like mini cartwheel. And up. Like, I'm just seeing legs flying around. It looks amazing. It makes me very happy. So all of you, just make sure you stretch out a little bit. And then, um, um, if you're going to continue playing around with, on the sofa, you need to make sure there's an adult in the room. Yeah? But so you can play with the roll onto it, the roll out. And if you could put three of those moves together, that would be lovely. Like rolling onto the, you know, playing with, you can play your own time, rolling onto the sofa, making a move. How do I come out? How do I come to sit? <coughs> How do I find another thing? Can I go from there into forward roll? Ding, and then out again. Yeah? You can play with like little sequence if you want, but that's what we'll do next week otherwise. Right, lovely people. Got to go to the next class. So lovely to see you. Thank, Thank you. you, everyone. As always, send us comments or photos or anything, anything you like. And if you got to like, if you want to make a little video of your soap acrobatics, send it to us. Yeah, I'm going to give you that task next week. Thank you very much. We hope you enjoyed that class. Um, if you did, and if you're able, we'd really appreciate any donation, small or big, details below. Um, also, if you want to join the live Zoom interactive classes, uh, please email us on info at member.co.uk or follow the link below. And also on the Member Youth YouTube channel, there is an acrobatic playlist where you can access more challenges of acrobatic tricks now that you're warmed up. Um, so yeah, enjoy. Hope to see you next week. Bye.